Hello, this is Python Statistical. In this video, we are going to discuss how to encode categories to numeric values. In doing any data analysis, one needs to deal with real data. Real data is messy and generally not in a useful format. One of those real world issues is needing to encode categories to numeric values so that they can be used with Python's machine learning programs. In this video, I will show how this can be done very simply with Pandas and Python. In this example, I have created four clusters using the make blobs function from the Python machine learning library scikit-learn. So here is the spreadsheet I created with four clusters. In the first column, we have the Y values, also known as the labels or target variable in machine learning parlance. The target variable has four colors in this example assigned to each different cluster. In the second column, we have the S1 values. And in the third column, we have the S2 values. These are what we would call the independent variables and could be measurements we have recorded. To create the formatted column variables for our pandas data frame, we will use the first four rows of each column description. So as an example, the Y value color categories will be used to form a variable name for that column. So here is the Python code I will be using to encode the color categories. In lines 8 to 12, I use import sys to import my statistical library where the functions I've written will be stored. In line 10, I append a library path containing the Python functions I have written that will be used in this example. There is a warning message that says E402 module level import not at top of file. It is complaining about the from read spreadsheets import spreadsheet to pandas not being before this syspath append function. But the problem with that is if the import is moved before the statistical library is appended, it will not work. This is because I created a library of separate functions, which is not part of the Python environment. In lines 16 to 26, I call the function spreadsheet to pandas that will read the Excel spreadsheet and format the pandas data frame column variable names. This will create the color example data frame As the actual data starts at row 11, this needs to be specified as row 10 according to Python numbering conventions. In lines 21 to 24, I specify the rows that will be used to form the pandas data frame column variables. As there is only one sheet in the spreadsheet, we specify sheet number of zero. Finally, as there are no headers, we specify none. For more details as to how I create the Pandas data frame, I have provided a link to parts one to four of reading the NetSell spreadsheet with Pandas. In line 31, I take the color description column from the color example data frame, which has been formatted as the column variable THYVCOCA, and convert it to a Python list using the toList method. 
In line 33, I initialize the numeric list where the numeric values will be stored that will be used to encode our color categories. In line 35, I use the set function, which determines all the color categories we have. So when I print the unique categories, we will see that there are only four color categories. In lines 43 to 44, I assign a numeric value starting at 1 to each color category. I do this by using the Python enumerate function. In line 48, I zip the unique categories list and the numeric list together and then I convert that to a dictionary using the dit function and I call that dit all cats. Finally, in lines 53-54, I apply the numeric values to the color example data frame using the lambda function. So I'll run this code now to see how it works. We can see that the unique categories list has four colors in it light brown, red, yellow, and green. And a printout of the dictionary, dit or cats, shows that red has been assigned a value 2, light brown a value 1, yellow a value 3, and green a value 4. And that is in the order of the list. So light brown is 1, red 2, yellow 3, green 4. So opening the color example data frame, we can see that the color cat column has been added to that. And the color cat is the target variable we now feed into the Python machine learning programs. In the next video, I'll go through how to do unsupervised machine learning using dbscan. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you really like it, subscribe to Python Statistical. Thank you for watching.